He hasn't had a chance to come in and close a game out Leading for several for days now, sir. So they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and Billy give him the chance Hamilton. to pitch in a real game situation here. Runs up and gets this one down. Maurer has it, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Up next for Seattle, a designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. At the plate, J.D. Martinez. He's one for two in the ball game. Hit back toward the mound. Rutledge has it. Throw gets him. Two down. The batter, number 15. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. First pitch coming. Here it is. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Well, that ball was scorched, and I know it didn't hit the wall in the air, but it gets to the wall. He now still made a good decision not to go to second, it. to go back Ken to first base. Griffey I think had he Jr. continued on, he probably would have been out. Into the box, Ken Griffey Jr. as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Ooh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Throw on to Maurer will be in time, and that retires the side. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Leading off for the Twins. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And that's inside for a ball. 1-0. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Goodness gracious, Matt. 100 miles an hour. No wonder he swung and missed. You're not catching up to that pitch. No way. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Danny Santana comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Here comes the 1-0. And that one stayed too low, apparently. The 2-0 on the way. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a three zero count. And he gets this fastball over back to three and one now. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Every coach will tell you when you're down by two, you don't the want to take too many chances 25. on the base pass. Regardless, Byron. he hustles into third for the triple, and the tying run is coming to the plate. Here's Byron Buxton now. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. And a fastball's in there for strike one. A man at third with one away. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. Gordon takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Now batting. Third Here's baseman. Miguel Sano. Me oh for three. Edwin Diaz enters the game in a now safe situation, Seattle, but he'll be asked to get four outs here instead of the Edwin. standard three. Edwin. 
First pitch of the at bat. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Well, he got that first pitch, got him looking right there. With a star hitter like this guy, it is always good to get ahead in the count. Called strike 0 oh 2. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Twins wind up stranding one. They trail it here two to nothing. A shot there of St. Paul, Minnesota, just down I-94 from where we are as we're set for the ninth late. inning in this one. Glenn now Perkins the enters from the pen to start the ninth yeah. inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Giancarlo Stanton is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. This is exactly what they didn't want. Leading off an inning and he goes up and he's swinging at everything. This ball's not even close. He's got to make him work a little bit. Here's the 0 and 2. And a swing and a miss on the fastball and there's the first out here in the ninth. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that First has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws Ready. his good fastball Freeman. right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Swing and a liner towards second. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter, number seven, shortstop, Corey Seager. Ready for another shot now. Corey Seager. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Garcia going back to the track, to the wall. Out of here. A solo shot and they add another. A solo shot here to straight away right field. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far. And the M's have taken a 3-0 lead. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hit some bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. The catcher, number 40, Wilson. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Ready with the 0-1. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Here comes another 0-2. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Another 0-2 coming. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. So one run here on one hit, which was the home run. No errors. And no one left on base. On to the bottom of Here's Brian Dozier now. He's going to lead things off in their half Leading of the ninth the as they the ninth try to win. avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling Number to get two. shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. And he lays off for ball one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 oh and 2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1 and 1. 
A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and has backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Oswaldo Arcia is at the plate as he looks at ball one. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Josh Rutledge is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Runner at second here with one man out. And here's a ball hit in the air. Freeman is over now and he's got it for route number two. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. So here's Joe Maurer. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will get foul for strike two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. Steven Strasburg records the victory his 13th of the year, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Hector Santiago is tagged with the loss despite giving up only two unearned runs. Edwin Diaz gets a four-out save his 29th of the year. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Three runs on eight hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Twins, no runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. The winning pitcher is Steven Strasburg. His record is now 13 and 1. The loss goes to Hector Santiago. He falls to 3 and 3. Time of the ball game, 2 hours and 35 minutes. A reminder fans that additional light rail trains on the Hiawatha line and Central Corridor are available at the Target Field Station located beyond right field on 3rd Avenue.